Well, if you want, I could give your doctor a breathalyzer. <laughs> that won't be necessary. Good, because I don't think it's legal. But I would do it if it would make you feel better. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. You know, the operation lasts a couple of hours. They make a small incision in the back of the neck. They push the skin and the muscle aside and remove a piece of the skull to relieve the pressure. That doesn't sound so simple. I promise you, I will be up and walking around by this evening. Hello, everyone. Hello, ho. Hey, ho. Come on in. I told you you didn't have to come. Well, I couldn't stay away. Plus, I wanted to speak with your surgeon before he put you under. Well, I'll see you in recovery. I told her she didn't have to come to the hospital. I know that you don't want to make a big deal about this, all right? But she's your mom. They butt in all the time. Okay, we don't have this kind of easy rapport. You think this is easy? It's not. She's <laughs> tough, she's stubborn, she's hard on me for everything. <laughs> what, you're lucky to have me. You're lucky to have me. I know. Hope and I, we're, we're just, we don't know how to do this whole mother-daughter thing. What is it that you said that you, you wanted to create new neural thingies? Pathways. All right, well, maybe this is your chance now to create new mother-daughter pathways. How are you feeling? A bit of a headache from the anesthesia. Uh, I'll bet. But I remembered my name, and I completed a memory inventory of the skeletal structure from the Grey's Anatomy chart. And where would I find my levator angulioris? There are two located symmetrically on either side of your face. And when they work in unison, the corners of the mouth move upward, producing what is universally known as a smile. Textbook perfect. <laughs> Excellent sign of long-term memory. Jane has been calling every 20 minutes. Then I let her know that you are on your way up. Thank you. And I also asked Angela to let me take care of you. I hope that's okay. Of course. Well, anything else that I can get you now? I'm good. Okay. Why is this so difficult? Because we don't really know each other. And you have a daughter, and I have a mother. Square peg, round hole. Something like that. And I always thought about you, Mara. When Caitlin skinned her knee and I bandaged it, I thought about what it would have been like to take care of you. And when I took her to her first day of school, I pictured your first day. I'd still like to take care of you, even if it's just for today.